Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria. You are watching me in live program, Heaven and Hell, where we talk about Jesus, where we expose the plans of the darkness, and where we, uh, we share the encounters we have with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray the Lord God will be with you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today we are, we are going into what uh, we are going into some area today. But before we go, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal rock of it, the beginning and the end, the mighty man in battle, strong man, oh Lord God Almighty, you are the strongest, you are the strongest God, you are the only one that go to battle and overcome, we thank you because you are the king of kings, we say thank you Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, we pray, oh God, that you visit our heart today, oh Lord, we ask you to open our eyes to the truth of your war, to understand the deep things about your war, to understand the deep things about your word, reviewing the mystery of your word to us, oh Lord, talk to us, visit our heart, and destroy every plans of the darkness in our heart. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I said, Lord, I have many messages I need to share. Which one do you want me to share? I have many messages that God, the Lord told me to me. The Lord told me to share. But I said, Lord, out of all of them, which one do you want me to share? Then when I was praying, the Lord gave me, he spoke to me, one of the messages he has given to me that I should share to you. And the themes of the, the topic of the message is uh, don't be deceived by the goodness of God. Don't be deceived by the goodness of God. You see, whenever I was telling somebody about some days ago, I said, the I said, the problem the church is having is that whenever they are studying the Bible or they are communing with the Holy Spirit. They commune in the flesh. They study in the flesh. They study the Bible. They read the Bible as if they are reading literature. When they are praying, they pray as if they are talk. They are just you know, they do understand. They see that a religious matter, and it's more than that. The Lord spoke something to me. He said something to me about uh, uh, the the. the The Lord said something to me about uh, the relationship of him and humanity. Him and humanity. I pray we, we will not go to hell in Jesus' name. God began to tell me some things. And from that moment, I, I now understand what it means what it means what it means to receive the goodness of god that you pray and your prayer are answered does not mean that you are a child of god because there's a question that rose in my heart when god was talking to me jesus was talking to me so i asked him i said lord I said, sir, I'm confused. I told him, I said, I'm confused. He said, I'm confused because we, there are some churches that they are not in occultic. They are not in occultic. I'm not, I'm not, but I know that not all of them is occultic. But whenever they pray in your name, miracles are happening. Signs and wonders are happening. I said, how can this kind of thing be? Who is giving them this ability? I said, I've seen some people who who, who prays and their answer, their prayer answered immediately. Some didn't go to church. 
and they go on their knee to ask you for something and their prayer and prayer are answered i said how come this is it are you the same the person who is answering their prayer or is it demon or is another thing he now talked he now said me something he told me something he said he said the same god he said it's the same god that water the rain he bring rain and the water will fall at the the, 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 the farmland of the wickedness and it will also fall in the good side in the good righteous uh, righteous man farm he said it's the same god that shines sun that brings sun on all humanity he brings cold he brings water he provides to everybody he doesn't separate children from the wicked he blessed them together but that doesn't mean that they are, his, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are his own children. I said, I'm confused. If you know they are not your children, why are you doing this to them? He said, that is his nation. His, nat- his nation. His nation is a good nation of blessing everybody. So when, why I was talking to him, he bring my notice to the incident that happens when he was on death. The Bible said that when he was going, he met the man of Gadara. And when he met the man of Gadara, he asked, he command, he said the man lay like he kneeled before him, and he asked, how many are you? He said they are legion. While he was interrogating the the, 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 the demon. The demon already know that he will send them to hell. But the demon pleaded and said, Sir, please, don't send us to hell. But send us to the peaks there. And Jesus answered their, their prayer. They prayed to Jesus. Demon prayed to Jesus. And Jesus answered their prayer and sent them. Jesus Christ did not, he did not even care about the person who owns the peaks. Who asked who used his own personal money to start farming pig farming? He did not care about it, but because they are prayed to him, he answered their prayer and he sent them to the peace. And when they, they ran into they come out of the mouth, they enter the peace, and the peace ran into the water, and all, all the peace died there. What am I saying is that he, the, the demons prayed to Jesus in answer it. So don't bring the idea that you are free and God answer you that through through your sight of God. That's a problem in the church now. That a pastor pray and a dead man came back to life. That doesn't mean that God recognized the pastor. <laughs> that doesn't mean if the demon can pray and Jesus answer, tell me the woman. If the enemy of God can pray and Jesus Christ still answer the prayer so you too can pray he will answer you but that effort he will not give it that's where when the apostles were coming hey we are raised from the dead oh we do we so do rejoice do rejoice or rejoice that your name is written in the book of life do rejoice because that miracle it is the nation of God to do good Ask and it shall be given. That's the nature of God. But that doesn't mean that you are going to heaven. That doesn't mean that your name is written there. Don't be deceived by the dream you dream. You are a dreamer. You say, hey, you see, maybe it happen and they come to pass. Don't believe it that Jesus knows you. That is his nation. You can have gifts if it's not it to give. It is nothing. Don't be this. This song, somebody saying this song does not mean that his name is written there. Ah, it doesn't mean that you are receiving your song from the spirit. Doesn't mean that there is a correlation between you and God. That is his nation. Ah, do you understand God? If God can grant to can grant Satan to attack Job, his own beloved soul. 
a, he was boastful. You know, when he comes to a level where God is boastful as a particular man, I don't think you understand. When, when he comes to a level whereby God is boastful of a particular man, saying, I did you behold my, my own servant, Joe? So that is how great God was boastful about him. But, but Satan come and said, Sir, can you grant me a grace? And God said, What? He said, It's because you have blessed this man. Let me take away his blessing. Let me take away his peace. Let me take away his head. And let's what I do with it. What is disappointing? Just grant me. And God said, Your, your, your request is granted. What is that? Communication. Devil, no, the enemy of God. Devil himself, Satan himself. The, he said, but don't touch his life. If the devil can pray and God answer prayer, his own prayer, how much more you? That even pray in his own name and believe are going to receive it. Prayer does not qualify you. I talk about Theophilus and Joshua Sema about my, my other video. They will all abuse me in eternity. They say, are you? Some people say you are mad. You say you are fool. I do care. I am a worse man for Christ. That they are teaching you how to pray does not qualify you for heaven. That they are teaching you how to, to do all these things does not mean that you are going to make it at last. Even then themselves, they do know their destination, yes. The reason is because one, the Bible says, follow peace with all man and holiness. He said, without which no man has the Lord. Say, if any pastor is preaching to you and is not emphasizing on holiness and righteousness, the pastor is a candidate of hell. If Joshua Selma will not tell you that you should repent of your sin and tell you that God requires you to be holy within and without, your clothes should be holy, your body should be holy, your everything will be holy, your mentality will be holy. He himself is a candidate of hellfire. Say, you how dare you talk about Theophilus? Theophilus, who tell you all these things are gift? Gift of speaking, their whole gift. Do you know that even as I pray to you, I always check my standard with God every day. I always plead for help on every day. Whenever Jesus Christ comes to meet me physically in the revelations, I always ask him, Oh, I'm going to follow you. And he always assured me that I will go with him. So do you think that this might, you say, let me say something, you don't understand things about God. That somebody is speaking and under the anointing, people are falling under the anointing, does not mean that the person is the fan of God. He said on that day, on that day, on that day, on that day. Eh? He said some will say, I did miracle in your holy. Size and water were made from my hand. He said, I prophesy in your in your own name. I teach and preach in your own name. But we say, get out! I never know you. He said, I remember what? I never know you. I never, it's not that I did not know you. There's I never and this there's you did not. Never means I've never seen you at all. So the question is that who is the one you are seeing? Who is the one that is appearing to you in the dream? Who is the one talking to you? I never know you. You didn't understand. Assuming you know the nature of God, you will know that God is more than who you call him. He's a man of principle. Ah, do you know what? My body is itching me. My body is tearing. 
because the church are blind for that. Their eyes are blind. Their ears are deaf. They are in the trap of this evil prophets because of the miracle they do. They did. Because the priest in the name of Jesus Christ, they believe that they are children of God. Who are you seeing in your dream? If you say, I will never know, I never know them. Do you understand what happened to Jesus Christ? And it's like, the Bible says John came to greet Jesus and asked him a question. He asked him a question. He says, sir, no, it's not even a question. He reported somebody. He says, sir, as we are coming, sir, I saw some people casting out demons in your own name. Uh, yes, Just give us authority. Let's go and slam their mouth. Jesus yes, said, no, 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 no. He said, leave them alone. We don't touch them. We don't even stop them. He said, yeah. He said, well, anybody that is not against us, it's for us. Leave them, leave them. He said, because that, well, they are not your disciples now. He said, just leave them. It means you might not be God's disciple, and God will still be using you. See the point there. It means you might not go candidate, and God will still be using you. Jesus said, leave them. See that statement. Leave them. Ah. <laughs> My brother, my sister, everyone will not be playing matter. Oh. Not be joking matter. Oh. It means that God might not even recognize you, and yet He's using you. <laughs> ah! It means you can be prison and be praying. Miracles are happening. You send leave them. And you are not disciples. The more the, the disciples say about you, they are not your disciples. You send leave them. My brother, you have to be very careful. Check your life. The, the, the standard of God has not changed. The, the standard of God has not changed. Who he is, he still who he is. If he said, Don't wear your ring, do wear up. He, yeah, he cannot say 100,000 years to come. He will not change it. He won't change it. He is this same God. God of holiness and righteousness. Don't follow what all those pastors are saying. That God doesn't look at the body. His heart is the look. Is the body your own? The Bible says he has possessed it with a price. He possesses your own body with the blood of Jesus. The body does not belong to you, bro, sister. It doesn't belong to you. Don't be deceived by God's goodness. Because if you are deceived, you are gone forever. Not me. If you are deceived, you are gone. That is it. Maraba Kolebata. Get out! And the demon jump out. Hey! That doesn't mean that God knows you. That doesn't mean that your name is written in the book of life. We said, don't rejoice. Or rejoice that your name is in the book of life. I will say more than this. I don't want to talk too much. So that you don't say that, what is this man saying again? Don't rejoice. There is danger in it. Set your life. He said, but, but I used to see Jesus Christ in my dream. <laughs> when you see him, do you ask him about your life? Many times I see him, I always tell him I want to follow him. He will tell me, don't worry. Go and do what I ask you to do to the church. He will follow me. Don't worry. I will take you home. It's a promise. Are you checking your life? Have you even prayed and asked whether your, whether your name is written there? Hey, <laughs> my brother, my sister, everyone is not your papa house. Here. It's a strict place to go. For no unclean things. Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. For no unclean things we by any means get there. You are having malice. You say you won't go ever. I beg which heaven now. I beg which heaven. I, just tell me which heaven now. You are living on righteous life. You are saying you are going to heaven. I beg which heaven. I 
beg you in the name of God, repent and make right of your way. May the Lord bless you and be with you. Subscribe to that channel. Don't just go. Press the notification button too. I pray my God, the Lord God Almighty, we bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Expect more message in Jesus' name. Bye.